remotes or controllers, uh, maybe not so much motorized cat toys. Oh my god, it's still on. <laughs> that scared me. Ever get the feeling that you're being watched? All right, okay, let's give it a shot. And there we go, that could work. That could work just fine. fine. All right, try number two. So initial reports, we're unsure. Here. Maybe if she gets used to the string. Seems like we're still uh, a little unsure. I'm gonna clean up the area a bit. She's playing with the box. This is the toy. Think about that. Did, she did not like the scary sound. She she got a hold of it, but then it started kind of screeching at her. She's going back to the Pokebox. Okay, so her initial uh, impression, I'm gonna say intrigued, but unsure. Well, she's very interested in the battery packaging. So batteries, good toy, I guess? You don't want to play with your new toy? How would you rate that toy out of like one to ten? Okay, that's that's fair. She wants her feather toy. Yeah. What do you want, MJ? Yeah? You don't want to play with that over there? That's about it for this cat toy review. In the following days, MJ showed a little interest in the toy. She keeps making me turn it on and then she barely plays with it or she just watches it from her chair and falls asleep. So I'd say there's hope that she'll get even more interested in it someday down the line, but for now, I think it's safe to say that pulling him a string is a bit of a flop diddy plop. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll be back next time with something different.
everyone, welcome back. I hope you're ready for something a little bit different. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at Professor Maxwell's 4D Science Augmented Reality Science Lab. I've had the idea to do a science kit video for a little while and I finally picked one up and I'm ready to get started. Will it go well? Maybe. Obviously the big draw to this kit is the 4D Science. It looks like you strap a phone to your face and science happens, so I'm excited for that. This kit comes with 10 interactive science projects. Are we gonna do all 10? Maybe. I'm gonna guess probably not, but maybe. Uh, so this is uh, everything that comes in the kit. I'm a little disappointed. Maybe this is all you need to do 10 activities, but it sure doesn't seem like it. I really get the feeling that I'm gonna need additional supplies, uh, which is a little unfortunate because this thing cost $40. This is $40 right here. Of course, most of that price tag might be because of the 4D element. It does come with a 4D book, which I'm assuming uh, Professor Maxwell is gonna jump scare Hi, out at I'm us. I'm Professor Maxwell. You know? I just kind of realized that I picked up these uh, these eye protectors as more of a gag. I don't think we're actually going to need them, but uh, I'm going to have to Okay, so first thing I have to do is I got to download a 4D Lab app on my phone. Not exactly the most exciting setup step, but uh, maybe it'll be better. I guess we're going to watch a how-to video. Hi, I'm Professor Maxwell. And welcome to my interactive augmented reality science lab. Don't like that. We are going to explore molecules, create chemical reactions, and learn about the magic of science. Okay. To activate the experience, flip to any of the projects within the book, put the headset on. That's supposed to be me. Is that one supposed to be me? Now, let's get ready to have some fun and learn about the wonderful world of science. Simple enough, the intro tutorial could basically be watered down to just put the phone on your face, you idiot. Oh, that's not gonna fit. Like they made these for kids or something. I don't know that this is gonna fit my giant head. If your head is bigger than the head of a seven-year-old, uh, you might have some issues here. Oh, there we go, okay. 4D, oh no, what I clicked. I can't see what I clicked. I'm gonna get it. So far, this is the hardest step. Static electricity occurs when there